Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Randy on Life on a Manitoba Farm. Uh, I'm just a farmer that carries a camera around. There was one thing I want to show you on this lawnmower, this Yardworks lawnmower. and the ladder. Boy, you guys are crazy. You guys okay? I need to take that off. Come on, that'll do. That'll do. Stay. 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 She probably wouldn't be bad if they get a bit of a wash. Oh, my butt just wet now. Gee whiz. Ooh, that looks like nice hay there. Ooh. We've had a problem here last uh, couple of years. We've got too much moisture. Usually, we always have alfalfa here. The higher on the higher spots, there's alfalfa, but it's all turned to grass now. Let me get my my key. You always oh I. here I want to uh, fence this ditch off I have cows that are coming in for water I have a water on the other side of the, the trees here that we're gonna so they can drink the water here there here I want to keep them out of here so that uh, they're uh, and also we don't want the cattle to be drinking dirty water so. so what I did just did is put my rubber boots on I'm glad I took them with me Boots are hanging on the post powder. We, we did, I did an indentation. We are going right alongside. We got a dike on there. Usually the water comes up pretty high on the other side. Even the willows are uh, 
dying out of two I see so and uh, years ago I actually had a fence there had a dike went right into the swamp right in the corner we got a lot of peat moss in there so we just went in the high ground uh, we lost maybe about uh, maybe 15 acres but not gonna worry about it so uh, I got them a one two three posts I think and I want to move them and put them on this side here so we're just working on that right now my pants I shouldn't have to wash my pants look look at this so this is the lawnmower we've been using to cut grass for a number of years now and I know it's getting old but uh, you know it's uh, we don't use it very much and uh, so what's been happening here there they call this a, it's a solenoid and I guess when you turn the switch on it opens up a valve in there and then you turn the switch off, it, so then the um, lets the gas, I guess, goes into the carburetor. I don't know, I think. And anyway, this has been a real pain in the butt. And it uh, the other day it wouldn't start in me, so I thought, oh, you know what, it's probably a spark plug. So I put the spark plug in, started up right away, and then it stalled. So then I decided, well, then it flooded. So it kept flooding and flooding and flooding. So what I did is I took the uh, spark plug. That's the word, and uh, cranked it, like so would all the gas would come out, so gas was pouring out of there, and uh, and uh, trying to fiddle around, so I figured, well, you know what, I don't know what, uh, so then, at one point there, it was totally empty, and I actually gave up, gave up already, what started up, started working, so actually, I cut a little bit of grass with it, and then I said, you know what, I'm getting hungry, shut the thing off, came back at about 40, uh, came back a little bit later, Engine doesn't want to turn now. Anyways, the whole piston was filled up with uh, gas, so this thing was flooded. So then I started figuring, well, what is going on? So I thought, well, maybe it's, I even, even have, I got another old mower, so I put another filter on there. So this is actually my shutoff valve. This is a vice grip that I have there. So, and, um, so I think there, this is faulty. And I noticed on the other one, I don't have one. So I'm, uh, I was thinking of taking the carburetor off that one, putting it on here. I don't know if I will or not, I will see. But yeah, this is, uh, since it wasn't working, I had to go take the push mower. Probably the time that I was trying to get this thing going, I could have probably cut the whole yard, two and a half hours with the push mower. Look up my exercise. There was one thing I wanted to show you on this lawnmower, the quick fix. Well, you don't know what you're doing. I was going to take this thing into the garage, get it fixed. And I started doing a little bit of research uh, on YouTube. And this is what I found. Yeah, so all I did is I just, uh, this was actually plugged into here. I took this off, left it off. 
and make sure you wrap this up with uh, electrical tape because there will be current going through here uh, when you uh, turn the ignition on. So it's unhooked and now the lawnmower works fine. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take the loader off this tractor. Four minutes. I think I said this before. We are we're, we're on the same tractors, older tractors over here, just because um, it's portable. And uh, I'd like to get a new tractor, but it's very expensive. And uh, right now the farm just can't uh, can't service another debt when it comes to uh, equipment. I had a, if I would have bought equipment 10 years ago, I would have got the value of it, it actually would have been up. But to replace that, we're looking at a lot of money. Like these tractors here, uh, I bought this tractor in 19, oh goodness, almost 30 years ago. Actually, is it? Would it be 30 years ago? 35 years ago for 11.5, and I thought, and we were trying to just mid float as, uh, and now I can probably get the same amount of money for this tractor. And I've used it for a number of years and uh, right now we are at over 10,000 hours on this. I have never done anything to the motor. I probably will just kind of fix this thing up uh, cosmetically and uh, make it uh, look a little nicer. We've got the air conditioning working in this thing and this thing is cool. Which I was surprised, like we had this tractor sitting for 10 years and the air conditioner was, uh, uh, we didn't have working. And uh, the guy come to service it, uh, Philip Friani had to put out a new evaporator in it. Uh, but we're, it's all good. In fact, uh, I just still didn't get the bill for that. It's over two months from now. I should actually contact him. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, you know what? Don't, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share. And uh, if it's uh, something you want to see in the future, don't forget to comment as well. We, uh, I would really appreciate that. And. Uh